Hey, I'm Ed. I'm one of the developers on Trouble with Robots, and one of my main roles was to bring Trouble with Robots to the iPad and iPhone. So today I'm going to show you it running on the iPad and give you a little taste of the first couple levels. So we're going to choose a profile, and in fact, we're going to choose New Player, and I'm going to name New Player something really witty like Player 2. And we're going to get straight into it. Here you can see the main map screen and the main map screen has one location available on it right now because we just started the game. So we're going to look at this. The level is called First Contact and if we go into it, it tells us that a spaceship has landed on middle turf. Strange metallic creatures have been seen in the forest. Witnesses say they've been putting up no smoking signs and wireless hotspots. Which you might not think is so bad, but I think these guys don't really have much for uh, computing power, so they probably don't need the wireless hotspots. So we're going to press play and get right into it. We have two cards. They're both peasants. If we touch this little magnifying glass on one of the cards, it pops up a large version of it. And you can see that the peasant says, summons four peasants. So indeed, we're going to summon four peasants. Hello. And then we're going to summon four more. Hello. Let's see our little guys have 40 over 40, 40 slash 40 right above each guy. And that's their health. And the robots come in and say, For your own safety, please return to the ship until the survey is complete. Oh, we aren't with you. We just came to say hello. You must go to the ship. If you do not comply, you will be arrested. Go kick a dragon. So, the battle is on. The peasants are in danger, but fortunately, I am a wizard. I can watch their health numbers and use this card, heal, when they need help. So, the display in the top left of the screen, which we can't see right now because the text is on the screen, shows the vitals of your least health unit. So once we continue out of this text dialogue, we'll be able to see so you can see up there we have 32 out of 40, 28, 24. I'm going to wait till they get down below 10 and then I will play my heal card. And you can see all my guys got back to full health. You can see the little 40 slash 40 over them. And speaking of the 40 slash 40s, we can go into the menu. In the settings we can change that to a bar if you prefer the bar. So now they all have little bars over them instead of the text. And the bars are maybe less intrusive, but also less information. Another wave of robots is coming. Summon more peasants. Hello. There comes four more peasants. And we got six more robots. And again, we're going to watch the top left. And when our guys get less than eight, not less than 10, I mean, down to eight, we'll heal them. And now it's showing that we have a magic wand and every card we play needs one unit of magic from it. So what's gonna happen here is our magic is gonna fill up slowly. And when we have enough magic, we can summon the elven archers and then one more copy of elven archers. So now we have four elves that do range attacks while our peasants will do the melee attacks. And again, we're watching in the top left to make sure that nobody's going to die and we'll heal them if they get too low. Well done, everyone. I think we, I think, I don't think we'll get any more trouble from the likes of them. And there we go. We completed first contact without losing every, anybody. We completed three out of three waves and we perfected three out of three waves. And because of this, we get three stars because we beat three waves without losing any units. And we gain new cards. We got the Angry Mob, the Alliance, and the Fireball. We unlock the achievement of completing the first level without losing any units. And now you can see on our map screen we have another location that we can go to. So we'll go to Elf and Safety. And it says, strictly speaking, the villagers were wrong about not getting any more trouble from the robots. In fact, thousands of the metal monsters are roaming the countryside, bossing people around, and generally acting as if they own the place. A gang have just arrived in Trollworth. Um, you notice that we got three stars on the previous level. And now we have the choice of easy, medium, or hard. 
And we're gonna get a star multiplier based on the difficulty level. So for every wave we beat, we're gonna get one star, and the stars are used to unlock cards and different things, right? On medium, we'll get two times the stars, and on hard, we'll get three times the stars. So we're just gonna go straight for hard. And before we start the level, we need to build a deck. And this just says that they chose four cards for us. And we're going to need to choose five cards. So it says select five cards down there. And we're gonna select heal because we need to be able to keep our guys alive. We're gonna select the fireball because it's fun and kills a lot of robots. We're gonna select the alliance because it gives us three peasants and an elf. The elven archers gives us two elves and the angry mob gives us three peasants but it also gives us a plus three melee damage modifier for 20 seconds. So then we can hit play. And now we're in the game. These buildings are unsafe, please vacate them. Our homes are safe as, well, houses. Why there hasn't been a collapse for months? Voltron has ordered that these unsafe buildings be vacated. All right, so now we got Elven Archers, Alliance. And we'll play the heal card when we start getting low. 20, 16, 12, 12 heal. We get a star, the star will come in right above our magic wand. We see we have one star because we beat one wave without losing anybody. Do not resist arrest, resistance is futile. We'll see about that. All right, fireball, boom. We got alliance, angry mob. We get that fireball, we wanna play it right away because it will hurt our guys too and we don't want to play the fireball close to our own units. You have just gained the ability to throw lightning bolts. While targeting an enemy, his vitals will show on the top right of the screen. Touch this enemy to target him and release your hold on him to make an example of the rest of his kind. So in fact, if we touch the screen right on top of the robot, it shows us his vitals in the top right. If we move our finger around the screen, we could target other robots if there were. And we can just let go of it while we're targeting him and it zaps him. Lightning bolts use the power from your wand just like cards do. It's usually better to summon the units you need first, then spend leftover power on lightning bolts. So we're fighting these guys, we can zap a couple of them with our lightning bolts. And let our peasants and elves do the rest. Now we get an angry mob. We're gonna play and get a plus six modifier, well just for a second, because we had the previous angry mob. Zap a couple of these guys and heal our troops. Don't forget to lightning bolt enemies by touching them. Final wave. Alright, fireball again. Angry mob. And we'll wait to heal him when we need it. He's watching in the top left there. And we don't even need the healing. We won, we beat the robots again. But what are we gonna do about this Voldertron fellow? I'm going to write a letter of complaint. Do I start it with dear sir or dear Mr. Voldertron? You can't write, Colvin. Oh yeah, I guess I'll have to drop pictures. And there we go, we beat Elfin Safety on hard. We completed five out of five waves and we perfected all five of them. And we had it on hard difficulty so we get a times three multiplier. It results in us obtaining 15 new stars on our way to unlock new cards. And we also unlocked a card just for beating the level. And we unlocked an achievement for beating the level on hard without losing any units. So there you go, that's the first two levels. You get a really good feel for the game. And uh, I'll see you later. Maybe I'll show you a harder level later. Thanks guys.